Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your Isaac Gamer, the Master Box, and today I will be doing episode, I think, 6, maybe 7, maybe 5, I don't know, I've lost track already, of World's Greatest Manager, and of course today I will be playing as Australia, the Australian national team, the Socceroos. Bring it on. Of course it was the top like comment, France coming in very close. I'm not sure when I was really strongly, I feel, hinting towards Spain. Maybe you guys took it the wrong way and interpreted it in a, an international team, but either way, guys... Of course, we picked Australia, so for God's sakes, it's not like I can complain. It's Australia. The one com the one comp- Oh, sorry. <sighs> okay. The one com- Jesus Christ, I thought I composed myself, but I can't. For some reason, I can't take complaints. I think I'm retarded, but either way, the one complaint that I have with the Socceroos in, in FIFA 12 is that they are so underrated. Like most Australian players. Like, the A-League is really underrated. Like, really- <sighs> Like, some of these players honestly need- Almost, maybe I'm being a little bit too demanding here, but almost plus five on their overalls. I mean, we're not bitching 85 players or whatnot, but you know, Tim Cahill, 80, yeah, sure, maybe a little bit more than that. Harry Kuehl probably needs a little bit more. I can tell you, Scott McDonald definitely needs more. And a couple of these players just need a couple of extra, a little bit of extra pace, a little bit better dribbling, because it's a really underrated team. This is a World Cup team, okay? And we, reason and we do reasonably well for a country which, honestly doesn't really give a shit about football. 80 to 90% of the whole population is off watching Aussie rules, so of course you, you know, you can't blame them for not wanting to watch football when you've got a football, when you've got a sport as quality as Aussie rules, but you know, either way guys, that's, I'm not here to start that thing, but either way. Of course, let's have a look at this formation. Okay, again, not a lot to work with here. We've got a midfielder in the defence. What's up with that? We've got uh, a lot of wingers in the Australian squad as well, which aren't really being utilised, um, as well as, you know, a couple of just other good players and some fast defenders. So, of course, I'm going to have to edit the formation, edit the squad. So, guys, I'll just be a minute. Welcome back. And yes, this is our, this is the formation. Again, utilising the wingers. I've got some pretty... I've got some players from the squad. Uh, what am I saying? I've got some players from uh, the bench and the reserves in the starting 11. For example, we've got Zulo... And we've got Orr, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I mean, Orr. But of course, we've got some pretty good players, and we've shuffled a couple around. We've actually got defenders in defending positions. And of course, one thing as well, before I get on with it, guys, if you notice, this 4-3-3 formation is actually the exact same formation that Stars United FC use. Yes, the team from the Moneyball trailer. So, just thought that was worth noting. But either way, guys, that's it for me. <laughs> Jesus. So either way, guys, let's do this. I'm going to go find a game, and to find a game, we're going to go to head-to-head -to -head custom games. The only problem with head-to-head -head custom games is that sometimes it can be an absolute bitch, and it just does not want to pair you with anybody. At all. And sometimes you just have those days when it's like a force beyond your understanding is just going to make it its life, its destiny, to make sure you never get a game in bloody head-to-head -head customs games. For example, this. Not only did I lose my connection to the EA service, I lost my connection to the whole freaking Xbox Live, and I don't know how it's happened, but god damn it. Uh, finally, I was able to find a game against this bloke, and he wanted to be Chelsea. So, of course, the second I decided I wanted to play as Australia, he decided he didn't want to play as Chelsea. Maybe he wanted to play as an international team, I don't know, but really, either way, I just had to wait and see. Hopefully, I wasn't playing against, like, I don't know, a five-star spat. Oh, for god's sakes. Yeah, I don't know why, but apparently this guy must be so terrible that he thinks that the only chance he has of beating a three-and-a-half star Australia is by using the best team in a game with a five-star Spain. I don't know, I don't know, but either way, that's the challenge. <sighs> Australia versus Spain, let's do this. Now, before we get this underway, please stand for the Australian National Anthem. So we kicked off. It's Australia versus Spain. Let's do this. Kill's on the ball now. Kill looking for who? Finds McDonald. It's cut out and then it goes to Orr. He passes to Orr. Down the wings now. Looking for a cross. Fake shot back. Tackled by PK. Still manages to retain it. He's trying to get in a cross. It deflects off of PK's head. Goes to, K goes to Cahill. To Harry Kill. What a smash. Harry Kill. 15th minute. What a hit, son. Australia are beating Spain, 15th minute, and it's Harry Kuehl that's put it in the net. That is an absolute smasher. Look at that. Absolutely 
Creams at top corner, Casillas, trying to stop that one. That is beautiful. Can you believe it? Australia are beating Spain. It's 1-0. And it looks like Sergio Ramos is on the ball. Ball's cut out by Kiel. Kiel goes back to Ornia. All with a beautiful through ball to Kiel. It's come off of Casillas. Runs over the line. It's a corner to Australia. Luke Wilshere will step up to take this corner. Who's he going to find? The head of Cahill. Go! Tim Cahill! It's 2-0, Kim. Tim Cahill. Oh, with his signature celebration. Tim Cahill has done it. It's 2-0 against Spain. This is Australia. They're beating Spain. It's 2-0. And I just can't believe this. What a performance. This is unbelievable. There's still time to go. Oh, there is still time to go. Can they keep this lead? I don't know if they can. But with Fernando Torres on the ball, to a back heel to Iniesta. Goal. Wow. I just got really complacent and it's cost me a goal. I should have shut up and just kind of just, you know, focused on... <laughs> I should have just shut up, focused on defence, and uh, for some reason I didn't. Don't know why, but uh, yeah, either way, that's the goal. Iniesta scores, and it's Australia, Spain, 2-1. Approaching the end of the first half, but Fabregas nonetheless is on the ball. Fabregas, he tries to throw ball to Fernando Torres. Torres has gone through now. Torres with a fake shot back, making the space. Finesse shot, goal! Spain get the equaliser. Oh, man. I was winning 2-0 a couple of minutes ago. Son of a bitch. Fernando Torres, it's 2-0. So either way, the first half ended. It's 2-0. Australia and Spain are tied. Still Spain are on the ball now with Xavi to David Silva. David Silva's going for a run now. He's got some space. He'll play a beautiful... How has Fernando Torres gotten that much space? He's put it in the bottom corner. Spain are winning 3-2. How has he gotten... Oh, my God. How has he gotten that much space? Excuse me for a second, guys. I just got to go back. Look at Ivoga Dewinsky. I don't even know what his goddamn name is. But I'm, I legitimately didn't want him to go forward. Didn't tell him to go forward. My analog stick wasn't going that way. He just did. And look at what Fernando Torres has done as a result of it. 3-2. Holy crap. That is just... Ah. Oh. Not happy. McDonald now on the ball, trying to make some space. Kill. Cahill's going for a run. Cahill now. Come on, Cahill. He'll pass it to all for a sweaty. No. No. What? No. That's. What? Come on. Oh. Well, I don't know how you missed that. But he is dropped. Sure as day, he is dropped. Oh my god. How have you missed that? It was the last attack of the game. McDonald was on the ball to kill. Kill chose to send McDonald through. McDonald with some space. Come on, McDonald. Let's do this. He does a beautiful fake. He does a stop and turn. Shot. It's saved by Casillas. There goes the second best chance I've had to equalize. And to cap off the bullshit game that this was, have a look at this. What the honest to God hell is that? That was the most ridiculous. Oh, for God's sakes. All right, no. That was just an absolute hell. What? That was the most ridiculous attempt at trying to save a goal I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but either way, guys, just forget about it. It's 2-4. I lost the game against Spain. Understandable. I was Australia. But nonetheless, it's time to move on, and it's time for me to play as a brand new team. So, of course, back to head-to-head -to -head games. I was able to find a game. Still wanted to be Australia. I'm not too sure what he wanted to be. He decided he wanted to be in a, an international team. I could only wait and see what team he wanted to play as. And then, he picked England. Oh, some shit's about to go down now, son. England versus Australia. Bitter rivals in pretty much anything and everything. Like, for example, cricket. And, um, and, um, um, uh, and cricket. I feel, I sense, like, there's about to be become a great divide between my subscribers at this point. Because I kind of feel like... Um, the majority of my subs would be an even mix of Australians and people from the UK, and the rest would just be a mix of Americans and people from Europe. So, you know, it'd be very interesting to see. Uh, yeah, it's just, whatever. So it's Australia versus England. I have to try and beat a five-star England. Very tricky, but you know, it could be worth... Oh, great, it's raining. Awesome. Fantastic. But either way, Australia kicked off the match. And let's do this. It's Australia versus England. And Orr is on the ball now. Orr going very well now with a beautiful three ball to Cahill. Cahill! Oh, he loses possession. And have a look at that. It only took him a matter of seconds to pause the game during play. I mean, this guy's playing like an arsehole. 
No wonder he's playing his England. Ooh, you don't want to cross that line, mate. You won't be doing yourself any favours. Adam Winsky to kill to McDonald. McDonald's tackled. The ball still finds his feet. Saved. Goes to Terry. Terry, Kale cuts out. There's no offside given. It's a goal to McDonald. Yes. 17th minute. Australia are beating England. That was one of the closest goals ever. But you will look. McDonald just on side. The goal sticks. And it is 1-0 to Australia. Beautiful stuff. Well done from Cahill to intercept that. Magnificent. It's Australia 1-0. Orr's running down the wings now. Or trying to make the space. Or with his pace now. He'll fake shot back. Trying to make that space. Will he try to cross it in? No. Some nice footwork and trickery. He sends it to McDonald. McDonald's through, but he passes to three England players. You had an empty net in front of you. Minus... Oh, man. And that's one of the most ridiculous bridges I think I've ever seen in my life. Darren Bent's on the ball now. Darren Bent. That's a... No, that is not a red card. But ref, if you give that red card... Uh, oh... Damn right, it's a yellow card, mate. That is no, no, that is not even a red card. Either way, Kill's on the ball. Terry's chasing him down. Kill Terry, he's taken out. That is a red. That's a red ref. Get it. He's off. He's going. What? That is a red. No, that is bullshit. That is complete bullshit. That is a yellow. Fuck you, ref. Fuck you. No, fuck you in the ass. That is a fucking red. That is bullshit. Oh my god. Screw you, man. You're being paid by the English team. You fucking no good scum. Now it goes to Ben. Ben's on the ball. Some horrible defending and a fake shot and a finesse and it's in the goal. And guess what? England have just got the equaliser at half time. Oh, Darren Bent scores. Not bad from Darren Bent. Nonetheless, England have just scored the equaliser and Australia are kicking off now. Who's on the ball? I believe it's Kill, possibly. Harry Kill, yes. He's going down for a run down the wings. He's beaten almost all the defenders now. Down the wings. He'll have a fake shot. Doing extremely well with some nice footwork. Another fake shot. Through on goal. Yes. What? Harry Kill. Oh, I think I am actually... I'm starting to get ridiculously good at scoring from kickoffs. This is incredible. Australia 2-1. They've just gotten the goal to put them back in front instantaneously upon conceding. What an effort. Brilliant from Harry Kuehl. It's 2-1. Nonetheless, we reached half time. Second half began. Darren Bent was on the ball with a through ball to Young. Young's the one with the pace here. He'll go through. He'll shoot. And he's put it in the net. It's yet another equaliser to England. 50th minute. Right after the beginning of kickoff, and it's Ashley Young who will do it. It's 2 0, Australia versus England. Darren Bent's on the ball now. Good tackle from Odden Winsky. Still don't know what his name is. But McDonald's on the ball now. Not passing, not playing through balls, keeping it, and doing a good job, and beating every single one of the defenders and putting Australia in front. 3 2. Beautiful from Scott McDonald. This is brilliant stuff. What a game we are watching. Australia will not give up. They will not say die. There is no way they're conceding this victory. This is brilliant stuff from the Socceroos. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. It's 3-2. Now, it was at this point in the game, I needed to make sure I scored another goal. At least one more goal. Every single time I got one goal, they got an equaliser. It needed to happen. And with Orr on the ball, missing that last one. Orr on the ball now, doing a sensational job. He goes, he shoots, and it's hit the post. Unbelievable. Maybe now, with Orr going through yet again, he's got another extremely good chance. Orr goes through, shoots, misses again. For God's sakes, why can't I score a fourth goal? McDonald on the ball, taken down. No, he's taken, he's bumped in the ball. That's a penalty. No, referee isn't given a penalty. What am I saying? Something, a force beyond our understandings. Making sure I can't get this breathing space. And then now Orr's on the ball yet again. Beautiful through ball. Now it goes to Everton. Everton's going to send through ball to Orr. Are you fucking kidding me? Did he just do a hamstring in the middle of a... Ugh, something is not going to let me score. Wait, McDonald's through. No, no, no. He saves that one as well. Jesus Christ. What is something is keeping me from scoring this second goal? Even though something just did not want me to score another goal in that game. I was able to hold him off. And Australia wins 3-2. The Socceroos have defeated England. Great effort from them. And guys, I guess that's it for me. Thank you once again for watching this episode of... World's Greatest Manager. Don't forget to like and comment in the... What am I saying? Don't forget to comment in the comment section below what teams you want me to play as next time. Guys, I'm your Rosie Gamer, the Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.